Take one. My dream is that many others who are experienced in their own field will join us so that together we'll be able to promote mediation, which is good for business, which is good for the community, and we can grow this ecosystem of mediation advocates and mediators in Singapore. And we have known that over the years, in the last few years at least, with the increasing complexity of uh, litigation cases, uh, that um, litigation can encompass negotiation, can encompass neutral evaluation on specific points, and certainly can and must encompass mediation at some point. And we are seeing now clients uh, coming up to us, asking us about mediation, even before the courts have proposed mediation. And why is that, why is that so? Because mediation is developing into a trend where parties know that litigants or parties to a litigation need not find finality in litigation and they can find the result in a successfully negotiated settlement between themselves under the guidance of a neutral, trained mediator. And that is a trend I see developing. And for lawyers who haven't sort of warmed up to that trend or who are not aware of that trend, my advice is get on to this bandwagon. Know this train is in town but it may leave you, it may leave town without you, and that's what you should avoid. We got launched in 2014, November. But a year before that, in 2013, um, the Honourable Chief Justice and the Honourable Minister for Law set up a working group uh, to look into setting up uh, Singapore as an international mediation hub. Uh, for me, that was the beginning, and I want to thank them for having the vision, the foresight to set this up. One of the recommendations um, was to set up the Singapore International Media Centre. So that was the forerunner. And, and because of that, um, I think we got off. And I also want to thank the mediation community in Singapore, because without that support, it would not have been possible.